Hi guys, uh, it's me Fisher Rob again for the Novice Angler. Welcome to my channel. Um, what am I reviewing today? Well, I'm going to have a little look through at some of the Calder things that uh, are out there on the market that I've got in my old tackle box. Um, so uh, I'll just uh, immediately dive in. First of all, the goo. If you're actually um, fishing through the winter months, um, this is an absolute must. Um, obviously usable all year round, but uh, with the winter months, etc., goo really comes into its own. They do a, a whole range. I think there's about 20 odd different flavours at my local angling shop there uh, over at uh, Slanetli. Um, but uh, this particular one is the caramel, caramel liquid. Um, it's a simple uh, additive. You literally just blob on to your fake baits uh, as, uh, as an added attractant, and then that will bring in, uh, hopefully, your bites. Um, absolutely gorgeous as well. I love the smell of caramel. They do a whole range of banoffees, squid, crab, all manner of bits and bobs. So uh, keep yourself a little um, bottle of the goo in your tackle box. Um, second, well, <laughs> really goes without saying, pair of scissors. Corda do a, a cracking pair of little scissors here. Um, I'm trying to think they call it. Is it stainless? Yes, it is stainless steel. Um, beautiful uh, pair of scissors. Very, very sharp. Um, excellent obviously for all your line trimmings, braid, fluorocarbons, whatever, um, and uh, well worth having in the old tackle box. So a good reliable pair of scissors, called a scissors, very nice indeed. Um, another thing of course in the older times before the old hook pullers were out, uh, you would have to hang on to your hook and try and pull your line down, wind it around your finger, you know, and uh, quite often it would slip you'd end up with a hook buried two-thirds into your finger not a good idea very very painful um, and uh, blooming sore for the rest of the day whilst you're fishing um, so Corda came out with uh, a very nice ergonomic um, hook puller it's a uh, good strong material um, very very positive there is no slippage the way the hook is actually I don't know, you can see that designed with these extra little sort of mini corners as it were keeps that hook very very positively fixed into it when you're tugging on the line, tightening your knots, and uh, another excellent add-on to your tackle box, the Corda uh, Hook Puller. Now I mentioned this on my tackle box review, um, this is a, a Corda magnet, it's quite often used with the zig rigs, um, it literally just pops on and off a mount which is a universal thread, goes into any of your bank sticks, and it purely just clips on over the top, such as that. Um, pivotable so you know you can have it at any angle doesn't matter screw it into your bank stick and then on top of that you would place your zig rig hook with bait um, and then when you're preparing to cast um, it's holding the hook nice and steady now why well basically quite often with zigs um, if you're fishing at certain depths and on some big lakes you can be fishing at a fair old depth and you want to find the exact patrolling lane if you like of the carp um, the best thing to do is to fish a zig rig. Um, the way you can counterbalance your line with a floating uh, float there and then you can pull it just down under the surface and providing you know your measurement of uh, how much line you've got in your hook length to that float um, you can then start pulling in say a foot at a time and then eventually your zig rig will float along and then start dropping down through the water a foot at a time. Now, when you're casting these out, initially, quite often your zig rig can get tangled in flight. Not a good idea. It doesn't present the bait very well. It's a real mishmash. So, Corda brought these out. Excellent little idea. Simple production idea, but very, very good and well worth the investment to get this designed and brought out for us on the riverbank. Um, simply thread it into your bank stick. As I say, put your hook and hook bait on that. It'll hold it quite nicely. And then when you cast out, that's the last thing to leave the bank. Keeps the line a lot better in flight. It makes the casts cleaner and the end result is less tangles and that's always a plus. So uh, have a look in your local uh, fishing shop. As I say, I use Angler's Corner down here in Clanetley. Cracking little shop. They have loads and loads of different lines down there. Um, worth a visit. And um, this one you can pick up uh, from there as well. But um, do have a look online at your local area. I'm sure you'll find it. Now, another great idea by Corda are the Corda sinkers. Uh, simple little lead, effectively, um, and you literally just hook it on and slide it onto the line, pull the rest of your line out at the other side, and then it will just slide up and down the line wherever you need it. 
um, I tend to use these on my hook links and uh, sometimes just above where it unions to the uh, the swivel for the main line um, basically the whole idea of a sinker is to simply keep your line down quick so once you've cast out the last thing you want is to have a big bubble of line sticking up before your bait fish come along hit the line and get spooked and take off uh, you don't want to do that you've lost a lovely fish or any size sort of fish but uh, you've lost that all from a simple problem that can be very easily cured get hold of your quarter sinkers slide them onto the line and that'll pull all your line down nice and quickly and lay it flat across the river bed or the lake bed whichever you're fishing and um, it keeps the line out the way of the fish cracking little idea thank you very much Calder now weights and baits well baits easy peasy I would definitely go for some of the Calder fake bait range these ones are the Bonoffi very very popular and uh, carp absolutely love them I do a lot of carp fishing and uh, these ones are your 12 mil um, they're basically a pop-up dumbbell now these ones come as you can just see behind it I might grab one down here oops they come supplied with their own little bait ties as it were and um, you can fit them onto the hair and uh, once you've fitted them onto the hair itself uh, over the back there you break off one of the little ties or hair locks whatever you want to call them and uh, place it across the top pull it down tight onto the line and it's then securely fixed to your hook but uh, Bonoffi seem to be a very popular thing with carp at the moment and uh, especially through the winter months that's a definite plus to have in your tackle box they do go bonkers for them now there's obvious other ones in the range, Tutti Frutti, um, and you've got various scented options, maize and corn. Um, I've got some yellow ones as well. Um, you can use fake bread. There's a load in the various range of uh, Corda um, fake baits and uh, Enterprise Tackle. That's the other one. The uh, Enterprise Tackle people do a lot of these fake baits. They're very good as well. But um, the Corda, as I say, I tend to use almost exclusively. Um, because uh, I'm just very very impressed with the uh, the lines that they carry um, and the final little thing just to have a quick review of is the rig safe now again I'm a great one for preparing my rigs at home getting them ready for the riverbank or lakeside and taking them out with me easy quick change uh, swivels at the other end or hair loops and um, you can just slip them on and off the main line and uh, be good to go but the rig safe itself very very positive it's lovely very solid fixing the hinges themselves are very positive and it's got in the four corners magnets so it provides a very solid closure of the case and you can see the space you get inside because I even have mine prepared with the fake baits on already and good selection of the lovely quarter colors pins you can have twin pins or single pin fixing uh, however you set your hairs up there's containers on the right hand or the lid section, hooks, other pins, other baits, entirely what you want to pop in there. And then when you're ready to close, nice positive closure. And those magnets hold it nice and tight. You've got to give it a bit of the pull to get it open. But um, simple pad system, very nice and easily just push the pins down into that to secure your hair rigs of choice. So with that, I'll leave that with you. I hope that's helped, giving you a few more tips today and uh, to do go and explore the quarter range next time you're at your local fish stockists.